In this video, I'm going to show you how to import MixML characters and animations into Unreal Engine 5 and map them to any character that you want in really just six clicks. I'm in Unreal Engine 5.4. You can do all of this in just six clicks and I'll show you how to do that. So this is a, a basic third person template uh, project and Unreal Engine 5.4 preview. Unreal Engine 5.4 is going to officially release uh, by the end of April, but you can actually use the uh, preview version if you want right now. So we have two characters here. I have a meta human and I have the mannequin and I just wanted to bring two different uh, kind of characters here and I'll also show you the Mixamo character as well. So that's the basic setup of the project. So you're going to go ahead and open Mixamo. All right, so once you're in Mixamo, you can choose the character that you want to choose and an associated animation that you want to import. So this is the one that I'm going to import. It's called the pointing gesture and the character I'm using is Olivia. And at this point, you're going to hit the download button here. And you're going to have a bunch of op options here. So the important one that I want to talk about is the skin and the format. So the format you want to choose FBX. And with the skin option, if it's the first time you're importing a animation and, and a character into Unreal Engine, you want to make sure you choose with skin. So it also downloads the skeleton of the character. The skeleton is important because that's how Unreal Engine can map from one character to another, because obviously any movement that we do depends on our body. So I move differently than you because we have different body types. So it's the same way that animation works. They, it works with the skeleton of the character. So the first time you're downloading it, you're going to choose with skin. But after that, we can choose without skin. And I'll show you that as well. So we're going to choose with skin and then we're going to hit download. All right. So once you have your file downloaded, you should get a file like this. I have pointgesture.fbx. And what I'm going to do is in Unreal Engine, I've created a new folder called Mixamo just for organization purposes. And I'm just going to drag this um, FBX file into this folder here. Once you do that, it'll give you this box here, FBX import options. And when you choose to uh, download with skin, this is the uh, dialog box that you should get. And you want to make sure, and it should be by default, but the skeletal mesh and import mesh should be ticked and we don't need to change anything else. We're just going to hit import. So you do get some errors and warnings here, uh, but we don't need to worry about that for now. We can just close it and you can see we get a bunch of stuff here and a lot of them are materials that are used for the character. So we don't need to worry about that too much. What we really care about are the following. So we have the skeletal mesh, which is the skeleton that we were talking about. And then we have the actual animation, which is the pointing gesture animation. So you can double click it to check it. Uh, everything is fine and that's good. So what's the next step? So let's say we want to use this animation on our mannequin here. So here's the steps and this is why I said it's, it's only six clicks. So once you have your animation chosen right like this, you're going to right click. So that's click number one. You're going to come to retarget animations. So that's click number two. So in this top folder, you can see the source skeletal mesh is the it's Olivia and I want to target it at the mannequin. So I'm going to choose the mannequin here. I'm just going to search for it. So that was click number three. So I'm going to find SKM Quinn, which is right here. So make sure you're choosing SKM Quinn because SK mannequin is for UE4. You can, you can read the uh, path of the um, character here. So I'm going to choose SKM Quinn here. And if you double click on this, you can see the preview of the animation getting retargeted. And the last click key that you need to do, which is click number six, is you want to export the animation. So I'm going to hit export animations and I'm going to put it in the characters folder. I'm going to hit export. And you can write it, click export again. And I have my animation here. So if I want to play it on the mannequin, I can just add this animation to it. Uh, I'm just going to click on the mannequin right here. Click on search for animation blueprint or just search for animation here. So you can see right now in the animation mode, it's using animation blueprint. But instead of that, I'm going to say use animation asset and I'm going to choose that animation that I just created. I can just um, I'm going to close this. I'm just going to drag the animation on top of that. So as you can, if I hit play right now, you can see my mannequin is using that gesture. 
All right, so just to show you how it would work if you don't want to download the skin, because once you do it the first time, you don't need to do it a second time. So let's say we go back to Mixamo and I want to choose a different animation that I want to use as well. So I'm going to go into animations and find something else that I want to do. Let's say we want to do hip hop dancing like, like this one right here. So now let's hit download. And since we already have the skeleton, we don't need to download with skin anymore. So we're going to go ahead and choose without skin and we're going to hit download. All right. So once you have it downloaded again, you're going to choose, you're going to get an FBX file just like we have here. Again, you're going to drag it and drop it into your Mixamo folder. Now this time you can see that it asks you, it's the actual dialog box that you get is different than before where you had to like tick the skeletal mesh and everything. Instead of it, it, it only asks you what skeleton do you want to use? And we want to use the skeleton of the, um, of the character that we imported. And in my case, it's called pointing gesture skeleton, which is right here. Right. And I'm just going to hit import. And you can see instead of downloading all the other like material and skeleton, it just downloads the actual animation itself. Now you can double click on it and you can see the animation is there. And again, it's really simple to add it. Let's, let's add it to the meta human this time, just so I can show that it works with everything. So we're going to click, right click, go to retarget animations. And we want to target it at the meta human skeleton this time. So I'm going to go ahead and try to find it. It's the, sh this one right here. And we can again, play the animation just so we make sure everything is working. And then we're going to hit export animations. And this time I'm going to store it in my meta human uh, animation folder. I'm going to hit export animation. And I'm going to press okay. And I have my animation here. So I'm going to click on my meta human. So I'm going to click on my meta human, go to its body and I'm going to add instead of animation blueprint, I'm going to do use animation asset. I'm going to drag this right on top of it. And now if I hit play, we have our meta human doing the dance and our mannequin doing the pointing gesture. And of course you can also add the meta human. You can actually add the actual Mixamo character itself as well. So the way you would do that is you would create a blueprint. So let's go, let's go to the top level right here and into the characters. Let's create a new blueprint here. We're going to make it a character and we're going to call this BP Olivia. And once inside here, uh, let's actually add a mesh, which is right here. We're going to click on this mesh here. And we are going to choose um, Olivia. So we're, mine is called pointing gesture right here. So I'm going to choose this guy, uh, Olivia right here. And you can rotate it and fix it. So I'm going to rotate it minus 90 and also lower it down so it's fitting into the capsule. It's not too important to do this in this demonstration, but I'm going to compile and save. And now I'm going to ch choose Olivia and also drag it onto the screen. And we're going to rotate her. Just like this. Maybe bring her forward a little bit. All right. So now we're going to choose Olivia and in his animation, we're going to choose use animation asset and we can choose whatever animation that we want. So let's go to Mixamo and let's say we want her to do the dance as well and see if if it's better than the meta human. So now let's hit play. And now we have all three characters doing the animation. So I hope you saw how easy it is and you can import any animation that you want from Mixamo and target it to any care any of the characters that you want in UE 5.4 with really just six clicks. Hope this was helpful and thanks for watching.